all parts and repair. I don't shoot too many videos from my folks' place here on the coast, uh, and there won't be too many more because they're in the process of moving down to uh, join us in Medford. Uh, they've got the house, and we're slowly moving them. But I came over here for a little something special this weekend. Needed to get some equipment moved, an old boat that was buried way the hill out back yonder. And to do that, we had to get something from my childhood running again. When's the last time you all saw a hard-working 46 Farmall B? Well, when I got here, it wasn't hard-working. Uh, oh, geez, a couple years ago, uh, my dad parked it and had problems with the Magneto. It is a that old International Harvester H4 Magneto. You don't even need a battery for that. Everything is contained in there. There's the crank. If you want to, you can start it by hand. That battery setup is a hell of a lot nicer. But anyway, the old mag just wouldn't produce spark anymore. And I'd already been through it, well, five years ago, maybe six years ago, and uh, replaced the coil, condenser, done on points, cap, rotor, all that sort of jazz. And uh, thought we were good to go. But he uh, wasn't getting any spark out of it. So I said, to hell with it. Went on eBay, picked up one of those Reman mags. And it's beautiful. Uh, dude did a great job, but when you read the service manuals, there's some confusion about which way this engine rotates. Now, if you're standing from right here, you're spinning that crank clockwise. Well, by the time you get to all the gear reduction crap, out here, the mag is spinning counterclockwise. So, inside, before you get to the point, you pop the cap rotor off, that next little cover is your internal gears to time that magneto. Don't accidentally pull that apart if you don't know how to put it back together. But it was set on the L setting, no, on the R setting, excuse me, which is about three teeth off of the L. Well, that's what I had to change. We fought with this thing for four hours. We finally were able to get it to run a little bit. But it sounded like it was running on two and a half cylinders and just sounded horrible. No power, running way advanced. So anyhow, once I swapped those gears around, we're ready to rock and roll. So the next catastrophe is uh, we all kind of expected this real estate jazz to be uh, taken care of by now. So we didn't load up the woodshed as well as we should. And that tarp kind of blew off. So I'm kind of filtering through the sort of got a little damp but can still burn versus the crap at the back which is yeah good luck until next winter but i got a load ready to go so let's take a ride on an old tractor as soon as i pick this damn chain up tired of hearing that thing drag my old man bought this tractor down in california uh had the almond orchard and he'd tow a big old disc behind this thing for many many years a good 30 years. So yeah, we're climbing onto a piece of 74 year old machinery. It still runs pretty damn well. Wish I could zoom this out more, but it's a cell phone, so we're kind of stuck. That starter switch has seen better days. But this thing just sounds cool. I think I first drove it sitting on my dad's lap I was probably now well, five years old I think by eight or so I was tall enough to reach the pedals I tell you in first gear this damn thing has enough torque you guys who've driven these you know you can actually flip one of these things over if you're not careful So before too long, I'll be taking this thing back to the Rogue Valley. My dad is coming up on 83, and I think his exact quote was, it hurts my back too much to climb up and on top of that damn thing anymore, so you might as well use it. Well, I can't think of a better place for this thing to spend some time than up on the old firewood hill, so that's what's gonna happen. But anyway, I want to let you guys know where I was at this weekend. While you won't see a new saw video, I'm getting ready to back up 
So I'm going to turn this off and pay attention to what I need to.